it's too Hello, we are Geeks Assemble, and today Kevin and Susan are joining me to talk about the uh, TV series, The Book of Boba Fett, or Boba, or Boba, how do you pronounce it? Either one. Either one, yeah. Um, a seven episode Star Wars series from Disney, um, telling us the story of how Boba survived, but we all knew he survived. Yep. If you were a true fan of the character of the Star Wars franchise, you know how uh... we all knew he survived, and now they've put it out there in, in imagery to show how he got out of the salad pit. Yep. So it's just like Doctor Hooley, they don't actually ever die. That's well, true. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, so we're going to go opening thoughts on this series. Uh, who should we go to first? Kevin? Yeah, sure, why not? With, with, with his stylish hairstyle. I look like a damn doctor almost. Well, the, yeah. Trying to impress his girlfriend, that's all. Yeah, but she has watched this show with me. Ooh. She liked it. Ooh, so cool. only the people had really a lot of problems with the first four episodes. And I was like, ah, wait till the whole thing is out. And then I watch it again further. The first episode really gave me a uh, Mad Max, uh, you know, vibes. You know, him with pulling with the cars and the scooters. Yep. And now they, of course, have renamed the ship, not Slave One, but... Uh, something else. It'll always be slave one to me. Yeah, yeah to me also. I'm yeah. Talking about their Kevin. Like this, this, and you know, <laughs> try to hide the past. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, it was a good show. People uh, do. I mean, I know what you know. It's the first season of, and it's called the Book of Boba Fett. So it was logical that we have to see, you know, how. Uh, Boba survived and how we got from the Mandalorian till now, actually. So it was very cool to see how uh, the mercenary got fixed up because we last time we saw her in the Clone Wars and that didn't go in so well, you know. So yeah, it was very good that the build-up was... Okay, I, <laughs> to be honest, that Scooter Chase was very George Lucas uh, prequel uh, styles. Uh, <laughs> I enjoyed for what it was, but uh, yeah, the last three episodes, especially Mando, were like, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to if I if I can give spoilers, I uh, don't. I think I think spoiler spoilers are. You have to do spoilers if you're doing a review, right? Yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Cat Bane coming into the show was like, holy moly. <laughs> Thank you. I knew, I knew his character from Clone Wars, but I haven't fully seen the show. I know, I know what you're going to say. Like, how can you do that? Um, but yeah, it was very cool to see him and see a little bit of, you know, backstory because, uh, because I was like, oh, that's a handsome devil. <laughs> And then he shot some people. But yeah, we all know that uh, Luke Skywalker came into the show, Ahsoka. So basically, this, this whole show, first season, was setting up the other shows in the last three episodes, actually. Plus, finishing Boba Fett's story to be a good lord, crime lord, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, but hey, we're probably going to have a season two anyway. Yep. Well, hopefully. I mean... Hopefully, because the book hasn't been shut off yet. Yeah, that's true. But as I said, they haven't mentioned the season two yet. So we sh we shall see. First Obi Wan Kenobi. That's true. That's coming up soon. Oh look at Susan. So yeah. So no. now Susan can go ahead with her opening thoughts. <laughs> go on, Susan. Over to you. All right. Well, this I I gotta tell you the the. The affection I'm having for Star Wars is growing and growing. It, I mean, it was like it was like the hook, the big hook was was Baby Yoda was Grogu, and then I mean I've just been dragged along. I've watched all all of Clone Wars, 
all of Rebels. I've watched all of the, um, I've watched Book of Boba Fett and all the Mandalorian and um, I can't get enough. I really, and Bad Batch. And I really think that the, uh, the Book of Boba Fett was, uh, was awesome. It turned out to be not exactly all about Boba Fett. <clears throat> like the fifth episode or the fourth episode, fifth or sixth episode, sorry, <clears throat> was all about Luke and, and Grogu. And then there was all the, the, the one about, uh, the one about Cad Bane and stuff. And, um, and the thing was, is that, uh, <clears throat> is that the Mandalorian really needed to become aligned. And part of this is that, uh, they, they needed to take Boba Fett from a position of being, uh, just a random pl play placeholder in, in shows or doing these one-off shows in like Rebels and, and, uh, and in uh, Clone Wars, where it was just young Boba or older Boba. And it was just like, he was, he did like these standalone shows. And now he, they, they've tied all of those strings together in this. And then they've, uh, but it wasn't always about him. And then they added Fennec Shand, played by Ming-Na Wen, who is in Stargate Universe, who, you know, instantly that's big hearts for me because of, you know, Robert Carlyle and that whole connection and then David Blue now. And so, you know, it's just fantastic, fantastic that she was in this. And I, I, I sat in on an interview with her between her and David Blue that they were just chatting and for the whole, all, all but the last two episodes of this show, she thought she was making the Mandalorian season three. Like they didn't actually give her, like they, they didn't call, have her call sheet say the book of Boba Fett. She, she just was called and, and it was a blank title call sheet. And she just thought that she was making Mandalorian season three. So there's a lot of that continuity that is just like, you know, seamless back and forth between these two shows. And the, the, the interesting thing was like the, that, um, you know, Pedro Pascal is 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 really uh, you know when when he he's really gained some depth with with a faceless character and so you know that that's that's where it you know you see the difference between the Mando Mando and Boba Fett Boba Fett is always taking off his helmet going what the hell and doing all this facial acting and stuff and the Mandalorian is always blank faced you know just a, he's just a mask and so you know Pedro Pascal had to up his game to go next to a face a faced Boba Fett and that's fun to watch and then the other thing that's fun to watch in this is uh the inclusion of this new little uh biker gang and we just we just watched Quadrophenia and so we know about these mods and we know about these bikes and you know we got we 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 talked about this these cool little mopeds, but these are like speed, these are like moped speeder, and and they 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 are called the mods. So I mean, here we are. We've gone all the way full circle, and and we're talking about these cool little uh, multicolored uh, Dalek bumped uh, speeders, and that's just really fun, and it's and and it's really enjoyable that they are. Uh, that they are also that they were blamed for everything in the beginning, and then that that turns out to be this, this the the pikes and the pikes are are they they flushed out that really good and that's really good because it's the pikes were amazing, and the pikes were just you know part of Darth Maul's whole resurgence in in Rebels, is that all of this stuff was just about or, or excuse me in Clone Wars. All the, all the all the pikes were, were were part of that that underground that that, that uh, Maul was trying to develop. But then here it's like they they had to come face to face and like like um, attack Boba and his whole dominion because 
that's what they did in in the Mandalorian in in the, in the Siege of Mandalore. So fantastic stuff this. And the back and forth and and how we how Filoni and Favreau have tied everything together and brought stuff up from from legends. I love the the new rancor. All these things they just dug up all this stuff and just like we're like here here's a bunch of presents and and here's a really good storyline that gives you all these presents and so like that's a really fun thing about the book of boba fett and so all that to say back over to you lee thank you i'm sorry you didn't like it susan i know um <laughs> I don't know what i'm gonna do um yeah but it's funny you should say you know they didn't know they were filming the book of boba fett they thought they were doing the Mandalorian season three, because it just felt like the Mandalorian season three to me. That's what me and I said. It's your... yeah, yeah, it just felt like it. Um, and if that's a, the feeling I got, it's a good feeling. Um, yeah, everybody loves Boba. Um, for a character who only appeared in the movies for how many minutes? You know, uh, he has got a big. He had four following. lines. Four, four lines. Line, four lines in all the movies. Yeah, um, it's got a huge following, and and to you know go back to the Salak pit, get him out of that. Show him getting out of the Salak pit as well, because there were some people saying, "No, no, no, he's dead. He's dead. He's got no. He's not." It's Boba. He'll get out. And he, he's a fighter. He, yeah. he's a, um, he got out of there. Um, I don't know why there was a stormtrooper in there. Um, maybe it was one of the ones who was looking for the droids um, and then fell in. Um, but yeah, it, all in all, it was a good. I mean, it was only seven episodes. So I, it was, I was I, expecting eight. Yeah, it was an odd number to uh, finish no. on. Um, I don't know, but the characters, you know, you, you, you I mean to bring Cad Bane into this was um, I didn't expect it. I don't know if I don't know if anybody on the knew on the Great Van he'd be in it because mm -hmm. everybody was saying, "Oh, Bosk's going to be in it. Bosk, the bounty hunter, is going to be in it." Um, but I think they jumped on the bandwagon when they saw his race was. Uh, Going to be in it. They thought, oh, Bosk, the bounty hunter is going to be in it, but he, he wasn't. The Trandoshans, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So someone, someone on set must have leaked uh, uh, one of the masks, and everybody thought, oh, he's going to be Bosk is going to be back in it. Um, but no, it wasn't. Um, you had who else? You, you say you had the Ranko, you had the Gamorian Guard, um, Slimland Gamorian Guard as well. Um, you also had um, who else did we have in this? Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna. Well, he was he was in the last. He he got sort of knocked off in the last one, didn't he? Yeah. Um, I always like the, the marshal was in it. The marshal, yes. Um, but now he's going to fix this. You have seen the post credit scene. Yes. Um, also, you had the. Um, What's what's the Wookiee called? Out of the comics. Oh, black. Oh. Enter. No, no, no. Oh. Hang on, I'll get it. Uh, his name was. Hang on. Black. It was black something, wasn't it? Uh, characters, characters, here we go. Oh. Can't find it now. Black Kersantan. It was black then, yeah. I, I thought it was black. Black Kersantan. Yeah, he appeared in the comic books, as far as I remember. Um, what a powerful Wookiee. <laughs> yep. 
Um, and also as well, it was good to see um, sort of a backstory to the Tuscan Raiders. Yeah. Because we never really got that in the movies. Star Wars, no. It was cool to see them. Uh... It was cool to see how they lived, how they, what sort of, um, not religion, but sort of the way that, you know, they did their... Parenting. It was just, it was, it was good to see that. And oh, yeah. The way Boba sort of became... More part than... Of that, part of that tribe. Yep. Yep. That yep. was that was so interesting. That. But I think yeah. also uh, that that ex, you know, when he was getting his own stick, you know, to fight yeah. with, he was getting uh, flashbacks from how he was into that, you know, into into that monster. But I guess that's symbolic for he's not that guy anymore. He's now different. He's not. He's he's not a bounty hunter anymore. Yeah, that's what I got got from that the uh, uh, LSD. Uh, <laughs> that trip he went on, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting thing. I mean, to the one thing what did annoy me, well, two things. I think I've said it before. I never realised that Boba had such white teeth. Yeah. <laughs> so white. <laughs> <laughs> and also the way, he, and also the way he kept saying Tatooine, <laughs> because everybody says Tatooine, but not Boba. He says Tatooine. <laughs> exactly like that, yeah. Tatooine. Um, you know, it's just it's just dialect, dialect. No dialects were in this. No, I said dialect. <laughs> It's the it's the 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 Camino dialect, right? I know. I okay. Know. The other really person lying. that that you didn't mention was uh, Amy Sedera says Pi Moto. She she's back, you know, fixing ships and building the the Nabu space cruiser and stuff. And she's uh, her little pit droids were are super cool still and. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the other one that was that was cool to see was Danny Trejo as the Rancor trainer. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that was a nice cameo. That was fair. Yeah, nice that... Also, it was nice to see the um, Cantina band. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. The, the the not the Cantina band. The um... the one bit of the blue guy with the big nose, and then yeah. the. Uh, from from um, H- uh, Jabba's palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing in the canteen, and they were <laughs> playing down. Uh, they were playing a jazzy version of of the song. Yeah, that was fun. But Shane, they all got killed. Yeah, this is the last year's show. Definitely. Yeah. Well, they got. Well, they at least uh, went off uh, on a high note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a joke there. Oh Kevin, my gosh. Kevin did a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but what did everybody think of Cad Ben? Because I didn't know him until I knew I knew it was a Clone Wars character, but I was like, hey, oh, hey. he's not dead. Come on, you're not going to introduce a big character like that and kill him off. Well, as I said, I don't know who I said it to, maybe Susan a week or so ago. That armor he was wearing, the lights on his armor was still flashing, and it was beeping when yeah. Boba was walking away. So, so I don't think he's dead because uh, Boba has them on his armor as well, and they're flashing all the time. Um, but a lot of complaints about how Cad Bane looked. I don't know why, because he looked just like he did, except for you know a little lighter in color because yeah, a little you know, smaller face. <laughs> Everybody, everybody who who spends any time on on Tatooine ends up covering them themselves with white. You know that that's just part of it. But also, as well, you've got to realize it's got Cad two Bane, sons for crying out loud. Cad Bane, Cad Bane came from the cartoons, 
and everybody was, most of the people was complaining, it doesn't look anything like the cartoon character. You think, what? Oh. I mean, wow, it, they've gone as close as they can. And, yeah. But if, you, if you're going down that route, then hold on a minute. Count Dooku in the cartoons looks nothing like Christopher Lee in the movie. Not really. You're right. Oh, yeah, he hasn't uh, had lines drawn on his face, yeah. no. They, they had really no real complaint about Cad Bane. Yeah, so just their life. <laughs> yeah, that, the people, that... this, that, that's basically Star Wars fans in a nutshell. They are never satisfied. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Not but all it, fans, but some die so-called claim die art fans are whining <laughs> and bitching about everything. <laughs> so, but it was good. It was good to see the Mandalorian. It was realistic. It was very realistic how they put Cad Bane from the cartoon to live action because he has to look like that. Because if he looks exactly like the cartoon, it's cartoony. Yeah, yeah. that's true. true. It is, but it's, it was good to see the Mandalorian back with the dark saber. Oh, he was he was slashing all the way with his anger, like chop, chop, chop. Um, and we knew you just knew Grogu would be back. Yeah, you didn't. I I didn't. I thought that maybe they were going to go along the lines of this is an alternate universe, and that and this was one of those decision points where Grogu chooses to go to bring the lightsaber and to to go be trained with Luke and, and be his first person so that nothing in the sequels happened. Exactly. <laughs> like that was like that, that, that new timeline. Uh, we were talking about timelines earlier uh, with, uh, with my friends and, you know, it would, this would have been that, that split where like, the one timeline is here and then it goes down. And then I still think they're going to never, you know, really going to say, hey, we made a mistake. No, they're never going to, you know, they're never going to really like, hey, no, they're probably going to retcon it silently without telling us they made a mistake. Yeah, well, they, they, that's the cool thing is like, um, is like Favreau and Filoni are taking stuff from, from Legends from the stuff that they retconned because of these the, the sequel trilogy. Um, and they are they are in 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 putting it. So like uh, where, whereas they weren't gonna have Cad Bane in to, talked about in the, the sequels, he, he still has a place in the in the and then the the other one that that is uh, besides Darth Maul is um, is uh, Syndicate? No, is uh, what's his name? The blue guy, red eyes. Um, what, oh, Cad Bane? No, Thawne. Thawne. Yeah, Thawne. Yeah. There we go. Grand Admiral Thawne. Yeah, Jesus. They're God. probably going to build up to that uh, novel that once came out in the eighties, The Heir of the Empire. Yeah, the I, era, yeah, those were my favorite books. I guess they're going to build up to that. Written by Timothy Zahn, and I was just, you know, those were sparkly. I love that those books, and so, you know, I just, you know, I really wanted this to, to, uh, I want, I want him to come back like he was in those because those were so, so badass. He was so um, amazing. I have got one. Well, a question is, right? Boba got out of the salad pit. Yep. Um, he he crawled along the sand, got out of the pit, and then a little while later, got slave one, went back to the salad pit looking for his armor. He was wearing his armor when he got out of the pit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now you say it, but, but he didn't know because he 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 fell asleep after he got out, and he was like uh. And yeah, that was were on him like that. Yeah, but he knew he was in his armor because he was wearing his armor when he was climbing out the pit. Yeah, all right. I don't know. The, well, his, armor, his armor was protecting him from all the acidic things in the salad pit. True. That's true, yeah. I, this yeah. is this is what happens if you if you adjust logic to Star Trek. To yeah. Star Wars, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that one. Cross that line. <laughs> 
Yeah, when I, when I saw that clip, I thought, yeah, you see, they haven't done their homework there. It was only a few episodes ago, he was climbing out wearing his armour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Um, right. But it was still it was still a good seven episodes. That's true. Yeah, and it was, wasn't as terrible as people make it out to be. Maybe it was, I think they maybe was expecting um, something on the lines of Mandalorian. Yeah, a lot of people did. Uh, it was, I would say maybe the first three episodes was a bit slow going, but it was still good. Then it sort of picked up pace. Um, I mean, the was it the cousin? Was it Jabba's cousins? Yeah, yeah. The, the twins. The twins. What's going on there? I don't know. They were like, uh, "Fuck that! We're leaving Tatooine." <laughs> That was a bit weird. I thought there was something not right with those twins. Sat together and and all like that. Feet home, Alabama. Uh. <laughs> Interbreeding, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, no wonder the huts are sort of like, Ooh. yeah, exactly. Like the royal families of Europe. They're a bit, Ooh. how dare you? They were like, uh, well, we should just we should just you leave this planet because you because it belongs to the syndicate. And Boba Fett was like, ha, 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 nope. <laughs> well, anyway, I liked I liked how they dealt with that too, because like that that syndicate thing, um, that's that's the that's the remnants of what Maul struck together. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's basically Maul's old old. Uh, Crime kingdom, whatever, right? You know, yeah. You know what that scene when Boba Fett is called them, you know, not to to turn on him. It, 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 when I saw the Godfather, like you know, a month, uh, one month after, two months after it, I guess it was, it was in the cinema, and I, and I saw the exact same scene, but it was probably inspired from the Godfather that they said, oh, yeah. "I'm not, I have no vengeance over my son if you don't have, you know, I will not take vengeance." And I'm, Boba Fett had the exact same scene, like, "Don't turn on me." What do you do? They, what do they do? They turn on him. Uh huh. That I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> Yep. Uh, but any favorite moments you was uh, like to say? Oh, like yeah, definitely. Uh, go go on. Who's can go first? Okay, okay. Grogu, Grogu trading with Luke and and uh, and Ahsoka standing off watching from from a ways away with with the, with Mando and stuff. And I just uh, that was so good for me. That was like. All the good stuff in one little scene. I was so happy. I couldn't even take it. It was beautiful. <laughs> I like the uh, also the flashback to Order 66. Oh. Goku was there when it happened. That was rough, mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, oh, this just got dark. <laughs> but I like the scene with uh, when uh, the scene I really had to laugh and there was all there. You, you probably have seen the meme already. Like, you know, and uh, Cat Bane is saying like uh, Boba Fett is a cold blooded killer. Also Boba Fett showing this uh, sand troopers to, uh, you know, to ride uh, that uh, bike. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. That was so funny. <laughs> Like that episode really reminded me of an A team episode or something like that. Like we try every time the heist, you know. <laughs> it was for me, it was really good to see Boba on the back of a rancor. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. That was just amazing. I mean, because he first appeared in the, um, in the animated little clip in the holiday special on back of a monster wasn't it a creep I'm, I mean, I'm glad I haven't seen that uh, holiday special <laughs> oh yeah it wasn't it's not that bad and, it's we, not... and we we watched it and we're okay <laughs> okay <Yeah>. good <laughs> <laughs> well also as well the, the last thing you see as well is the uh, Grogu and Mando in his new ship yeah, yeah. And, you know, Grogu in the back uh, tapping on the window. Uh -huh. Okay, one more time. There it goes to warp speed. Whee! Yeah, but it also, you know, puts 
because now Mendo isn't part of the creed anymore. Yeah. Now it's Boba. Yeah, now it's with Boba. Mm. But yeah, we're going, so probably going that? to see a lot of more Star Wars characters from well, here on. If, if he's not part of the creed anymore, that means he'll be taking his helmet off more. I hope so, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you know, he's just gotten so much, like I said, Pascal's gotten so, so damn good at emoting without show, without, you know. Showing with, his face, yeah. With a blank face. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I really think that he, he, he's a, an excellent actor and I, I'm always going to sort of question uh, Wonder Woman 84 for him, but the the response i mean his his subtlety and his his depth i, I just think that the world of, of pascal and as mando it's yeah, good but can be better mm. yeah well i mean i don't know how true this is or not but doesn't he just do the voice now yeah uh, pascal yeah he's done he's doing the voice yeah but that's is it, that's not him in the costume is it I guess not. Only for some scenes. Yeah. Only for the ones where it is the helmet comes off. That's him. It really is him, yeah. When the helmet's on, that's mostly not him doing the scenes. I you guess think not. So? I don't think it is, no. Oh. It's easy for an actor. It's easy for him to just do the vo voice acting. They put the voice over the action. Well, we you I mean, you and I know all about these fabulous voice actors because we listen to all those audio adventures. But I, I mean, I just thought like the way his, you know, these micro movements, you know. But it's I'm, I'm it's learning, I'm learning about racism in terms of microaggressions, and these are micro movements that he's doing that he that he puts into the 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 action, like the way he tilts his head or, or uh, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, but uh, the good characterization. But I'm just I'm putting it out there that might not be Pedro in that costume doing it. Oh, uh, see, I, I just think it is because of the because of what what I've seen, but it, <laughs> I'm just like, mm -hmm. no, you got me thinking there, fellow. I'm just I'm just thinking uh, why why pay someone to be in a costume and not show the face? Might as well just get him to record the voice, and get someone else in the costume. Save some money. Save money. They don't save money. This is this is Disney. Are you kidding? Well, Disney can also, you know, uh, do a better job at their physical media, because now yeah. it's really trash. Uh, it's really trash. But it's it's uh, you know I, I I think that they made the mo uh, another brilliant choice in in bringing Ming Na onto for for Fennec. Yeah. yeah, she is so cool, so badass, and. So badass. Yeah, so badass when she um, killed off the um, double crosses in that room. Yeah, that was so, so. Reminded me of that scene of the Godfather at the end, like, you know, killing everybody <laughs> that turned on his father. Yep, that was so good. So, uh, so anything else you'd like to say about the Book of Boba Fett? We want season two, Disney, so you better listen. Well, you'll be getting, you'll be getting Mando 3 first. Yeah, well, there there is already another whole season of Mando and Boba going to come because Mando is connected with Boba now. So yeah, Boba that's might, good. Yeah, Boba yeah. might appear in season three. Uh, he will for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but enjoyable. It's an enjoyable watch. A short season, but. Yeah. Uh, Still, it was good to see some characters. I mean, if you love Star Wars, you can't go along. Do you no, think you we're can't. gonna? Do you think in season three we're gonna get uh, Grogu in in a Mandalorian armor in in Beskar armor? Well, he's got the vest. Yeah, but do you think he's gonna get the the helmet? And I don't know. I mean, we may we may skip we may skip a few years. We may see a bit older Grogu. Yeah, that's true. I'd like to see that. A bit I think we're going to more yeah. conversant because yeah. he can walk. He got a lot taller last time we saw him. Yeah, maybe maybe this time he could uh, talk. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. 
maybe maybe a cameo from I don't know Harrison or someone like that. Yeah, because you know it's you know because we've had Mark Hamill now for Quite two. Yeah, you know, so maybe maybe another face from the past. Yeah, like um, well, Master Window. Like Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah Master, Master Windu work can also uh, mm. pop up. Yeah, that would be badass. That would be... He so- isn't dead, come on. He, he got thrown out of the window, but anybody can survive, survive that Star Wars. Look yeah, at Palpatine. He, he, jumped, he jumped down like 120 stories in, in one of the little animated pieces. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, so I mean, he has jumped that far before. I, I just... <laughs> I, I'm not... I, I agree with you 100% that, that he did not die at the, uh, from the fall. Um, I just think that maybe uh, maybe his perspective is that he's going to uh, is that show up in Mendo, I guess. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to show up. Or in Ahsoka, one over the other. Maybe in Obi-Wan or something like that. Obi-Wan kennels, yeah, that's going to be... Uh... There's that many. There's that many Star Wars TV series coming out. We're just spoiled. We are. We are completely spoiled. Do you think? Um, do you think they're going to connect Bad Batch to Mando? Probably. I mean, if they're still alive in that timeline, then yes. Cool. 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 But all in all, we we all enjoyed it. Yep. That's true. Yeah. Can we go favorite? Uh, not favorite. Uh, last um, say and score. Sure. Sure. Over, over to you, Kevin. Going to give this show a nine point five out of ten. Good. For its amazing score and good acting, and of course, future setting fins up like from and Luke Skywalker is probably going to appear again. So. We shall see. We shall see. And right over to Susan. Well, um, yeah, because this had Grogu, Mando, Fennec, and it had Boba doing Boba things and Rancors and all this stuff, I'm going to give it a solid 10. I, I, 10, uh, 10 little mod motorcycle speeders out of 10. Uh, I just thought that that was really cool, like nod to the whole to the whole southern part of England and that whole that whole scene uh, and stuff and like all that quadrophenia and then the LSD trip and everything that the whole thing was fantastic, you know, beyond beyond my wildest dreams. And so, yeah, I just think it it, it gets a straight A for me and <laughs> hooray for Hooray for uh, Filoni and Favreau. Again, again, you just nailed it. Boom! (laughs) (laughs) Well, for me, I enjoyed it. It was seven episodes. I would say an episode too short. Um, A bit slow to begin with, but I can't fault it because it's it's, it's good storytelling. It really is. So uh, for me, it, it's ten. It's ten Wookie hairballs out of ten. Hairballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Hairballs, wow! Krasnank, it's great. <laughs> so that's our little um, fun review of Book of Boba Fett, and hopefully we will get season two. But we we are going to get Amanda three before that, so fingers crossed. That's sure, um, yeah. I'd like to thank Susan and Kevin for talking on everything, Boba. Wait, wait, wait! One more, one more shout out, Matt Berry again. Matt Berry is everywhere these days. He's all over American commercials right now, um, and he's the the voice of of the AB eight B eight D eight the torture droid. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, Matt, that, that was Matt Berry. He's just everywhere. These days, he definitely is, yeah. Oh, and Jennifer Beals is Gar- 
Garza Flip, the 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 cantina boss. Yeah. So who, who, went, who went up in a ball of flames? So, so you guys out there, let us know what you think of the book of Boba Fett. Please leave a comment below. Below, yeah. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, of course. Um, and if you'd like to join us, leave us a message. All you have to do be is 18 plus, um, have a PC, laptop, uh, um, tablet, phone, with a working camera and microphone. That's all we ask of you, and we'll try and get you on. Um, I think that's it, isn't it, Susan? I think so. Um, oh, no, there's one more thing. If you want to be notified, that little thing there, ding, press the bell notification button on our YouTube channel and you will all get a notification every time we put something on. Be it a movie, be it TV, be it an audio drama, be it a music album, we're there reviewing it. So please come and join us because we, you know, we need to see some fresh faces on here. I mean, look That's at for some, sure, yes. Look at Susan's face. Look at Kevin's don't, face. Don't look at God my damn. face. God damn, I need some new faces. Uh, don't look at <laughs> so, so I was told one time that I have a face only radio would love. So, yeah. yeah yes, you've, got face. you've got a face for radio, definitely. Um, <laughs> Please shut it. You're only making it worse. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't care. Um, how dare you? <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, exactly. Never mind. <laughs> so, so until next time, hold on to your helmets, lads. We'll be back. Bye for now. <laughs>